Well, it wasn't wasn't it in um wasn't Mike Tyson originally like Punch Out was Mike Tyson? Yeah, Mike yeah. Tyson's Punch Out. And then like uh they changed it to Mr. Dream. Why isn't Mike Tyson in Smash Brothers? Because he bit somebody's ear off. Because it's, you know, it's so because it's whole... Mike Tyson. That's no worse than what Bayonetta has done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet Bayonetta would bite somebody's ear off. It's this guy again. You know anything about that game? Uh, it's got Bayonetta in it, and like a giant clock, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All I know, is she I has no every power. About. She's like the Superman of 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 being weird. <laughs> The Superman of being weird? No, I'm not Superman. I'm a judge. <laughs> I forget what that's from. It's for the Simpsons. Well, I know it's from The Simpsons, but I forget the episode. It's the episode of Bring Your D Parent to Work Day. Oh, that's right. That's right, because they're all like, I'm not Superman. <laughs> Ooh, who drove your work, your house to work t to school today? No, I'm not Superman. I drive an RV. I'm trying to remember how to do this. Anyway, um... He's more like the, the Superman of weird goth characters. Yeah. I didn't want to check it with... I wanted to... Uh, I wanted to kill it with fire! Do it right! I did it right! Jump back up the orb there! I did it, comma, right? Question mark? <laughs> You fire stop the, farting. Fire from that top part. Or no, this ice can't. is no, a, very cold. I think I want to do it this way. Oh, then... don't they fall down? No, they don't. No, they don't. But now I don't think I can... Oh, no, I can still yeah, hook shot. No, not hook shot. Um, Other thing. That. Ooh, super jump. Stupid jump? That too. Uh, shine spark. All right, here's the, here's the end boss for ooh, the end. Ooh. 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 It's not the end boss for the game, it's just for Turtle Rock. Oh. Crackles, swoosh! You're finished! I will never let you play the instruments of the sirens! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm part of this game! Old flaming Jack the Lantern. He's a good guy now. No, he's not. He's he's not a good guy now. <laughs> Turns into a frog face. I love how he's on fire, and then you shoot him with fire, and somehow it hurts him. It's a magic rod. I'm fighting fire with fire. Oh, I get it. Some kind of old saying. It's really not that hard. Ah, then what is he on the inside? Snap, crackle, pop! Why Stop did you come gooey. here? If it weren't for you... And that, those meddling kids... <laughs> nothing would have to dog. change. You cannot wake the wind fish. Remember, you two are oh, in no. the dream. They all say the same things. Listen, Forrest Whitaker, you I were will. better in Arrival. Every, everyone, in this, everyone in this game is Forrest Whitaker. <laughs> Not Spock, it's uh, it's uh, Che Guevara, whatever his name oh, is. Oh, I know, I was just saying. Spock is Zachary Quinto. Zachary Quinto? No, that's not. Alright, it's time for drums! And Link on drums! Now we can lay down some mad tunes. Why does he have the drums again? Why, it's do, why does he keep getting... Oh, so he can play the Ballad of the Windfish as a rock band? You can't play the Ballad of the Windfish without a tom-tom. You need accompaniment. <laughs> Me want get tom-tom. Me play Bowed Windfish. Tom, Tom, Tom. Egg. The egg on the mountain calls. Will you accept the charges? What will you accept? That's what, that's what, what Forrest Whitaker you? would say to that phrase. <laughs> what will you accept? This is Sol Guevara. Will you accept the charges? <laughs> I just gotta call will you call using 10, 10, 3, 2, 1? <laughs> That's right. That's John Lithgow. Wow. <laughs> I know. Now there's a reference that nobody in this, who was born in this uh, millennium, will get. I thought it was ten, ten, two, twenty. There was uh, there there were several of them. Ten, ten, three, two, one. Ten, ten, two, twenty. Ten, ten, two, twenty was the John Lithgow one. Yeah. Because originally it was ten, two, twenty, and then like two weeks later they changed it. Right. Well, yeah, because it was only like five numbers. Oops. So the nice thing about the level 2 sword, if you can see here, I can destroy these flowers without, um, a care in the world. Without, uh, Bow Wow edibles? Yeah. Now they are sword edibles. Or swordables. That's a cool door. Okay. That's what I said the first time. You guys made fun of me. And it so, is a cool so door. So I want you to know something. We're not acknowledging it this time. Excuse me. I want you to know something. 
Uh, oh, real quick. Hold on. Mount Tamaranch is where we are. Uh, look, if you look at the webcam, uh, for many months since we recorded last in, for last many November, moons. and now for we're recording. many moons since we last recorded. So we recorded last in November, <laughs> and um, now we're recording in April. So it's like literally six months later. But this whole time I've had sitting on my computer screen stand this, which is the directions through the uh, windfish. So this has been sitting here patiently this whole time. Where's your ocarina? It's in that drawer. Okay. You have to play it at the end. You have to play the Ballad of the Windfish. Uh, it doesn't go up that high. No. Give it. There, I played it. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> now do classical gas. <laughs> nope. <laughs> stairway to heaven. No stairway. Denied. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here comes the Ballad of the Windfish. The concert. He's multi-talented. Here's the channel playing songs now. Wake up, you fish of the wind. You're covered in bunting. <laughs> like some sort of parade float, you'll see when he appears. He looks like a dork. It wasn't great. Really think it was and here comes Yoshi! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what? You broke the egg, you dork! The windfish awaits! Enter the egg, hoot hoot! Blink. Blink. Uh, what? Oh, he's not moving! I'm <laughs> like... <laughs> he's, he's, uh... I expected him to move. I'm just gonna wait here till you go in. All right, guys. Yeah. Here's the windfish's egg. Here it comes. All right. I, uh, Sir Watts is going to miss it. I love how the windfish's egg has square rooms in it. Ooh. I like how it has square castles. Look! Look yeah. at these these and bones. And dumbbells. So dumbbells. I now wow. I follow these directions. It's left up or right up up, right up 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 right. down down left right left right B A B A start. <laughs> I we already made that joke, joke tonight. Yeah, yes. that's what I thought. I just I wanted to be the same. It's <laughs> never the same <laughs> when you're involved. are always on fire. All right, here we go. Now, th here's something interesting about this boss. We because were bored of nightmares. Before I read the text box, oh. um, this whole thing's been like a dream world, right? So and I'll talk a little bit about more about this over the ending credits, but... It goes to show that, that Link actually helped shape this island with his own dreams and his own nightmares. And it blew his mind, man. Which is why all of the, almost all of the forms that this guy's going to take are earlier bosses, especially from Link to the Past. Because they are his nightmares. Welcome to as his you'll nightmares. See. To take over this world, we made the windfish sleep endlessly. If the windfish doesn't wake up, this island will never disappear. Who is the windfish? Um, and who made him? Who Link? is John Galt? We would have been the masters <laughs> of this place. Thanks, well, Atlas Shrugged. Uh, you had to come here and disrupt our plans. <laughs> well, you're happy that you're disrupting oh, our plans. Let's get ready to rumble. Oops. Now we're sued. Thanks, Vince Scully. I, f I forget uh, how to defeat him. <laughs> I think you got to use the magic powder? Nope. No, I think it's the flame thing. Kill him with well, fire! Well, it's different things. Yeah, that one's the magic powder. Because he takes like seven different forms. Ooh, it's Cetus! Oh, the, uh, the dogfish from the, uh, constellations? No, well, ah! partly. My gosh, you okay? <laughs> See, now- I dropped my, my doodle pad. Oh, I'm sorry. See now he's a, he's Ag, Ag Agamem Agamemnon whatever the guy from Link to the Past that's the wizard Aganim. Thank you. I couldn't remember his name. And so now he's probably gonna shoot at me the, the stupid one that I have to jump over. Nope. Actually, I should probably have the uh, the the feather ready. So tell us your uh, your um, final boss. Um, 
<laughs> Instead of just jumping over it completely. Final boss stories. Did you beat this guy the first time when you well, played it? Well, it just so happens when I'm I wearing a it? shirt that says End Boss on I did. It. I think. It's really... I don't remember. It's been like 30 years. I mean, 20 years. Right. Oh, now it's Moldorm. Tim barely remembers yesterday. Anyway. What? <laughs> the only parts I saw of this game were like two or three parts, and one of them was the very end, right after Tim got to yeah. the... Well, it didn't so, help that it was on a Game Boy, so right. I'm not playing See, it. It's not like I was playing it on the TV for everybody you, to see. You played it on the stream. And now he's Ganon. Not on the stream. You played it on our trip to, like, Idaho Falls. And now he's Ganon. I forget how to kill Ganon, though. So, oh. Stab so, him in the head with the Master Sword. I still have my have original Game Boy. I got it back, and I finally fixed it the other day, and I realized how terrible. It has Final original. Fantasy Legend in yeah, it. it has, yeah, that's the only game stuck I have. Stuck in it. No, I'm sorry. Stuck. I know it's then. not stuck. But I finally realized I cannot play the there dumb thing because you cannot see anything even during daytime, even though, even with the screen fixed. Yikes! I don't be in the dark. I mean, you yeah. can see it, but there's the contrast and everything. It was like ten times harder. Did you just beat that thing? Nope. Now's the final form, which is his own form. But the final form is so cheap if you got the boomerang. So I'm glad we picked it up. Uh. Watch, because the rest of you have to be sorting him and, and bowing him and like a million times and take forever. But uh, Ooh, if I could actually hit him, what's that? Uh, Goma? Is it Goma, the one, the eyeball creature from yeah. Ocarina of Time? Oh, he, he was also in this game. Yeah. Ah, uh, why can't I? I can't aim. If, if I could aim at him, maybe I could you kill hit him this twice. No, I didn't actually hit him. Hit him. I have to hit him with its eyes. What? It's not working. The big the arrow. I'll try the arrow. Try spinning. I thought it was trick. the boomerang, but it might be the arrow. Now I can't remember. Guys. Hey, guys. I can't remember. Yep, no. Nope. Arrow. Arrow, arrow hurts him, but a boomerang's supposed to kill him in one hit. Try yeah, the fire rod. Supposed to. Yeah. I guess I'm going to have to arrow him. I swear that... Oops. Nope. I, well, I'm running out of arrows. I've only got 19 left. And I've only got half a heart left, so that's nice. So this is going to be the most... Oh, well, never mind. I just lost that half a heart. You really can... Uh, why wasn't it letting me... That's frustrating. Right Maybe you're just not hitting them at the right spot. That's why I was thinking it was maybe I was just missing. I was well, going to say that too. No, you weren't. You're right, because I'm trying. <laughs> you're not paying attention to the final boss of the game. No. I saw him, and he not does the same anything. thing. As I've already deduced his pattern. Am I, am I just remembering it wrong? Probably. I wonder if you can bomb him. <laughs> what is this, bomber man? Oh, not hardly. <sighs> That's so frustrating. I've got- I've got to look that up. Can you up. boomerang the swinging arms? I don't think so. Does this final boss have a name? Yeah, it's the Nightmare. Ooh, I thought that was from... Uh, <laughs> from Little Nemo? <laughs> well, that too. But I mean, uh, from Zelda 2. Well, it's probably, uh, related. Or Zelda Fusion. Zelda Fusion? Or Zelda... No, that's that's where Link Metroid fights... Metroid is what I meant. That's where Link Sorry, fights Adam saying, Malkovich. Have I been saying Zelda? I <laughs> yes, meant, you have. I meant Metroid. Yeah, that, that's... Yeah, there is the, the boss, the Nightmare in Metroid Fusion. <laughs> I thought you were getting them confused. With John Malkovich? With John... Yes, John Malkovich, the famous Metroid character. <laughs> no, that's Adam. I know. There we go. That should have been one hit from the boomerang. <laughs> Maybe they take it away from the to... DX. Maybe. This island is going to disappear. Our world mm. is going to disappear. Oh, ah, what a world! What a world! No, no, the Okami. I'm world. melting. What will melting. this world now become? I would never save the Okampa. I would never save the Okampa. That's yeah, the caretaker. <laughs> Why are you the caretaker? Because he, he was Ooh, dying, you know, and his voice was great. <laughs> of all of the things to think of, you go with the, the premiere of Star Trek Voyager. <laughs> you made two references to Deep Space Nine. I know, but that's today. a better show. Tim, <laughs> Ooh, you have beaten all the nightmares. Climb the stairs before you, that dark thing. Oh, they're there. All right, guys, ready for the end game? 
Ready for the fish that looks like a parade float? I like it. It'll never catch. It'll always Ooh, catch on. Wow. Right? It's or the LSD ride? Yeah. Why haven't they put this into a Mario Kart level? <laughs> the wind fish insides? Yeah. It's just yeah, called yeah. Rainbow Road. Yeah, Rainbow Road, but they need, yeah. like, the wind fish flying by. Woot! I'm glad I mean jam because it's Mario Kart, not Zelda Kart. It should be Zelda Kart. The hero! They have you a high level. You have defeated the nightmares. You have proven your wisdom, courage, and power. Ooh, that's a three that's part a of the Triforce. That's a recurring motif. As part of the wind fisher spirit, I am the guardian of his dream world. I'm the key master. But I one told day, you this a long time Mordak ago, stole you know. the wind fish. <laughs> Ooh, it was a nightmare who entered the dream. And began wreaking havoc. It was a poisonous nightmare. Then you, Jim, <laughs> came to rescue the island. <coughs> I've always trusted in your courage to turn back the nightmares. Thank you, Tim. My work is Why is done. he Darth Vader now? <laughs> he is not Darth Vader. He is the wind fish will wake soon. Goodbye, Hoot. <laughs> I just got sick of doing the owl voice. Are you ready? Here he comes. Here he comes. Uh, Da, 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 da. He looks so tired, like he just woke up. Well, it makes well, sense. Well, he did just wake and up. And he's like, uh, uh, so I gotta guy. talk to you now. This Wind guy. Fish has terrible fashion sense. It's like uh, he went to the doily store no, he looks for like, his clothing. Like, I, I the, think I want a pink doily and a purple doily. Look, the guy's got a sense of fashion. Not a good sense of fashion. <laughs> he reminds me of the whales in the drawings from the Pacific Northwest or from Alaska. From I am from it, the Pacific... Native I am the wind fish. And then make sure you give me a cummerbund. In, <laughs> in my dreams, an egg appeared and was surrounded by an island with people, animals, and entire world. Dot, 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 dot. But verily, it be the nature of dreams to end. <laughs> I love how you laugh at this voice. This when I awaken, Colo Hint will be gone. <laughs> <laughs> Only the memory. I'll give you a colo hint. hint. Don't stick around. <laughs> <laughs> Will exist in the waking world someday. Thou may recall I am suddenly speaking in thou's. That memory must be the real dream world. What? So this is a dream within a dream, right. apparently. The come, answer is love. Come, Tim. Let us awaken together. Come, Tim. That's what she said. Anyway, I'm fading. How could he talk to us if he was sleeping? Play the eight instruments. So, He's play the eight. in his sleep. He knows the secrets that you keep. Hold on, this is kind of a sad part, though. This is actually why I really like this game, is because it's got a little bit of pathos to it. Pathos, orthos, you're like, and... Uh... You're like, oh no, Bow Wow has now disappeared for all time. These two kids that were jerks, they're now gone. I hate those guys. These Octoroks disappeared forever. Uh, uh, like Mario, Mario here uh, well, he found a got got sued. Now he's gone. And even little Marin, who never came back to chat, now she's been wiped from existence. <laughs> like I guess that's what happened to her. <laughs> she was in chat, but then somebody played the Ballad of the Windfish and she disappeared. <laughs> so long, Marin. Now, now who will Maddie go to school with? Uh, probably, <laughs> probably Emma. <laughs> Goodbye. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. And Link died. The end. Thanks for playing. Wait, hold on. And he wakes on a beach. Come on. No, there's no beach. The beach disappeared. Well, the seagulls, so I'm assuming there's a beach, and I'm hearing beach sounds. Oh, guess not. No, he's pretty much just floating in the ocean. He's floating on dream logs that didn't disappear. And he lost his clothes. I mean, his red ones. He's still got his green ones on. And I love how it's still old, like, um... 80s hair link. Good. Excuse me, windfish. <laughs> so there he is. He's going to die soon. Depressing end to the Zelda. He'll timeline. get picked up by the Hylian Navy. <laughs> <laughs> he'll, get, he'll get impressed into the British Navy. Maybe the windfish will give us a ride. Or the. It'll just land on. Hey, windfish, you, you want to pick us up? <laughs> Dude, ah, it's left. pooping on us. On. Oh, wait, that's the sun. It's just the sun. It's causing a lens flare in our Game Boy. But no, he's excited because the wind fish is real. He's still going to, you know... Starve. He's still going to die of thirst in the middle of the ocean. Or hypothermia. One or the other. Whatever.
Anyway, uh, Link is dead, but so is our playthrough of Link's Awakening, everyone. And on the next episode, <laughs> Link Castaway <laughs> with Wilson the Bomb. Zelda! <laughs> oh my gosh, the credits are wigging out because we're recording at 30 FPS, so you can't really even read them. Um, so, final thoughts for this project, which took way longer than it should have just because our reporting sessions were far apart. Yeah, uh, let us start with... And the, our save files got erased. Uh, let us start with the person who uh, requested this project. Uh, Tim, what are your final thoughts? It's good. I, love, I it. still like it. Mm -hmm. I... Yeah. There you go. I don't know. <laughs> I like it, but... Put that I on think the quote. We're done. <laughs> Tim, I liked it. All right. Yeah, well, so I'm the best reviewer ever. <laughs> the player, the doodler, and the reviewer. This just is a half thumbs up. This just in. Tim likes it. All right, doodler, do you have anything slightly more? Um... <laughs> Why are you turning to me now? <laughs> so, bug staff, Mario. Okay, Club, here's huh? what I was going to say. 1993 Here, staff. Excuse me. Hold on. Um. It's, it's, if you go play, I can play the Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons game, which I kind of want to do on the stream. There's the wind fish. He's just, he looks like he's got like, like jean shorts on. Now he looks like Moby with uh, doilies. Nice. Moby the rapper? Moby Dick. Right. Oh, that one. Moby the white whale. Yeah, yeah no, Moby the musician, the white rapper. That's what it is. So our uh, voices haven't been recording for a long time. That's nice. Woohoo! So uh, half uh, of this half of this will be uh, edited strangely. Hopefully the sound won't be too bad. Um, I was going to say though, uh, Oracle of Ages, Oracle of Seasons. There are a lot of creatures that are the same as Link's Awakening. The real word explanation for that is that they both use the same engine. But the in-game explanation, or in-universe, I guess, uh, is that because he went on those adventures right before Link's Awakening, and so they were fresh in his mind, and so when this dream island appeared, ooh, those were the creatures that came up. So if we hadn't have died the one time that we died, um, then it would do an Easter egg here at the end where Marin makes out with you. Turns into a seagull, because that was her uh, her wish, oh. her true form. Her wind fish wish was to turn into a seagull. Link's Awakening was probably, for a very long time, and maybe still, mostly because I haven't played Breath of the Wild yet, it was my favorite Zelda. Not the best Zelda, but mine my you. favorite Zelda. Uh, my, mine too. Because... Because I like the idea, the um, the whole thing about it being the dream, and then they wake up and everyone disappears, and it's kind of got that that bittersweet ending to it. Mm. <laughs> I knew that you would talk just... about complete a co convenient plot <laughs> device, though. Let's just not even ensure that it is canon. It's all a dream. Well, it was can <laughs> it was an adventure he went through. It was yeah. just uh, nobody in it exists past it. Yeah. I like the game. I probably would have more of a personal connection to it had I played it as a kid. Link to the Past is, may still be my most... Your most beloved? Beloved of the uh, the games. Right. My problem is I don't and remember I really like hardly Ocarina any of the time other ones. Also. I haven't played any of them in forever, but this one I remembered more. So that's one reason it's my favorite. I think this actually might... Either this one or Link to the Past. I can't remember the exact like order. I think this might have been the first Zelda that I actually finished. And it wasn't until I was in high school. Like, growing up, it's kind of funny because I loved Mario from day one when yeah. I was a young kid. And I loved... Um, he had the manual as a baby. And I even liked Metroid, like, when I was younger. I didn't play Super Metroid until I was in high school, though. Uh, but for some reason, Zelda, like, like whenever it would, like, it would be at a friend's house or whatever, I played the original a couple of times, but I was never, I was always like, oh, this is too complicated because I'm six years old or that, whatever. That was my feeling. The original was insanely hard for a young kid. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it was good if you're a little older, but that this was the first one that was age appropriate that you could play through as a kid and enjoy. Either that, or by the time it came out, we were old enough that it was uh, that little, it was okay. A little like, bit of that we too. could deal with. Link it. to the Past was much more forgiving too. Tim and I, I played oh, the the heck out of that, and our dad yelled at us to go out and do our chores, and we wouldn't. Yeah, although I will say the number one good thing on this that didn't really happen as much on or that. The number one thing that I hated on the first Zelda that didn't really happen much on this one was those stupid levels that you had to 
to figure out you got to go this way, this way, this way, this way, and this way to get out of it. Otherwise, you're just going in this endless field for 40 days. 40 oh, things. the Lost Woods part? Yeah. Oh, I hated that. There's a part in uh, Oracle of Seasons that also does the Lost Woods again. And oh, I mean, and it was, I think I was smart enough on this one to go look up the, the solution <laughs> like we did at that point. <laughs> right, right. Well, I mean, that's assuming you played it when the internet was around. Before then, you had to find the one kid on the block who had the Nintendo Power subscription. 93. And go be his friend. Would have been. Not, well, no, 90, 94 was when the internet went public. Well, we, well, was, we were super early adopters, though. We had an internet there right was, around then. There were online services before 94. Things like yeah. CompuServe and Prodigy, and um, uh, I think AOL was pre-94 as well. Yeah, we, it started. And it just, we had internet like in 90. The point is, the, we didn't look up the strategy like guide for Zelda 1 on the internet. The World We Wide found Web. it out from somebody else. It was from that, the, there's always that one kid in the neighborhood who had the Nintendo Power subscription, and yep. you'd have to go buddy up to him, and he'd be like, hey. You'd have to sidle up to him and massage his feet. I was that person, <laughs> although it wasn't a Nintendo Power subscription. It was a book that yeah, we you, bought at Tim the had store. A big game right. It was like this thing. I had the uh -huh. Nintendo Power subscription a little later on. Yeah. Right. In junior high and high school. That's <laughs> what I did in that was junior hilarious. high and high school. I, I, That's why I'm doing this I right now. Happened right. To that book. Anyways. Anyways, uh, so that's how you beat Zelda back in the day. Um, but are you are you ready for doodles? I am so ready. Right. It actually hurts. Out. So thanks for watching Link's Awakening. We will see you next time.